everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's hobby base um, tutorial is going to be on how to make these really cool um, DIY bow toppers. You can use these on top of a, um, a gift box, you could put them on the side of a gift bag. The tiny one here you could even put on your card making, so they are so easy to make and so cute. This is just adorable. If I just bring it up there you can see just how cute that one is. And then you've got obviously the really large one there. You can see it all on the side. Medium and that side, that is kind of the sizes that you have there. I think my personal favourite is this one and this tiny one. I like this one because it's not too big or too small. I think that one would get used loads. And then that one is just adorable. I just really, really like it. I'd like it as a ring actually. Oh, I forgot to put one on. Oh my God, let's just pretend that one's there because I always wear a ring. Um, it's the evening, it's extremely hot, windows are open, I have a glass of wine on the left hand side here and I am yeah, doing some evening crafting and I've come up with these ones here. So this is using the bunting dies from Hobby Base, so you get five here. These are so um, versatile, I've used these in so many different ways and um, I thought you know what a great way um, to use them um, to make these bows. So. You can make these in any size you want. If you've got dies, it just makes it much, much quicker. But once you see how I put it together, you'll see that you can make these with just using, just cutting strips of, of paper. But it's just another fun way to use these dies if you already have them. Everything is available at Hobby Base, and I will share those links in my video description below as well, but it will all be up on their Facebook page where you will be seeing this, and also over on my YouTube page. So. What you want to do, so I'm going to do another medium one and I'm going to do this one in green. So I've already done some of them because you didn't need to watch me do loads. And I'm going to do two tones, so just again show you how you can um, change up your, you know, the, the design of it. So I need to die cut one more in this lighter green. So I am using the second largest one for this one here and that makes this size here. So I'm just going to run this one through my dye machine. Okay, so now we have six. So you need six of them and then you just need, you know, the same card just to create the strip that goes through the middle here. So now we've got all of these. So I'm going to be having the pale green one on the bottom. Then I'm going to have two of the dark ones for these ones and then two of the light ones for the top and then the dark strip through the middle and it, hopefully it should work quite well. So decide what you want to have on your base and it will be like that. You're going to overlap them but I'll talk into the detail on that a bit more in a minute. Then what you want to do is grab a bone folder and with the other four that you have, whether they're different colours like me or all the same, you want to curl them all but you want to curl them, hold the, um, the flag end if you're using these dies and then just just curl that along like so. I'm going to use the ruler as well. Sometimes I find the ruler is a bit better because you get more of a smoother finish. So you just want to create that arch. So I've got that one. And just do that on all four of them. Okay, so I'm just doing the last one there. Also, when you are doing it, a different card does have a different finish. So this softer card actually curls really nicely. This slightly harder one, it's got little ridges on it, can you see there? And then when I've done the Miri card, if you see close up, it's got a few little kind of bumps to it. It actually still looks nice overall because it all looks the same, but you will find that different cards, I mean, this one here is paper, so that curled over really, really quickly, um, and so on. The pink was really good. The orange one was a bit, you can see there, just a little bit, but just play around because obviously different card has different results. So now that we've done all of our curl pieces, so you'll have four and then you'll have two flat. What you want to do now is get some of your wet glue and flip it over and just pop it on the tips of the little flag bits there and then just fold it over and just stick the tips down so you've, you're just lining it up, okay? So if this is, you know, you don't have these dies, you just create these strips now. So the measurement of these is from the very end, three and three quarters by uh, one and five eighths. So you would want to cut six pieces of that length to make this particular size. And then I'll show you how to make your own flag ends 
um, in a minute. So just fold it over and it doesn't matter that you've got that hole through the, the middle because we're going to actually be sticking it down that way up and you're not going to see it. So that's what you want to do. And Now you want to do that on these other three here. Okay, so those are now all done. Then you want to decide how long you want your base to be. So what I would suggest is you get your two that are going on the bottom, lie them in the middle and just check that you like how big this is. So I mean, look, I could come out even longer there and pop it in. I think that's too long. So I'm just going to go in a bit and I reckon about there looks fine because you've got these as well that are going to be, sorry, no, we're going to put those ones down and then those are going to go underneath. So it's still the same, just sit them there and just check. So what I'm going to do is just grab the pencil and just put a little pencil mark there and then just put my glue all on the bottom and then sit that back over the top. So now I'm going to pop these two. So these are going to be the ones that you want on top you actually lay down first because then what you do is the ones underneath you feed underneath to lift it up. So these ones first, so what you want to do is just run your glue along the bottom there. And I'm going to do the other one at the same time. And then you want to pop them in the middle and then just when you're happy that they're in place just stick them down like so that one and that one okay and just stick them down for a minute and just make sure that they are nice and even and they're not going off either sides there okay I think that's about right and then oh hang on that didn't stick down I should have held it there a bit longer let's try again there we go Right, and then with these ones, just pop some glue on both sides this time, so that side and on the top, because you're going to sandwich this underneath. So my mic came up, come off because it's not maybe not completely dry, but let me just put this one in, then I'll bring it up to the camera. So you want to squeeze it under, so you can see there where it goes in. All right, and just pop it in as far as you can, really, kind of until you're happy, and then just squash down but what you want to do is then actually I use the tweezers if you get a pair of tweezers and put it not on the top one but in between so inside that first one and just squeeze all of them because then you don't squash this I mean we can go in and kind of rework them there you can see but just kind of hold that down on both sides there okay so that's one of our sides done I actually like that contrast I think it looks really good so I'll show you again with the other side so again pop some glue on both sides like so and then just lift that one up and again oh, just make sure you kind of get it even with the other side so just judging the, the kind of distance I've got there and again just squeeze that down pop your tweezers in under the first one and that will just help you get a really nice finish like so okay and then what you can do once that's all really dry mine's still a little bit tacky but it's okay but just go and kind of pop your finger and your thumb in there and just rework them a bit just to lift them back up but already now you can see how cool that looks and then just with the other color you just want to just grab some scissors and i'm just going to cut about half an inch for this size i guess it's entirely up to you like so and then i'm just going to run my glue all the way down and then just sit that over the top in the middle and then turn it over and just fold it over both sides. If you want it to join right up, you may have it differently that you might see the back. Then obviously you can do, but this is a, intends to be, you know, attached completely flat. And there you have it. And then if you just want to add some bling, which I've been doing on them all, I've just got some... Um, Diamantes here and I'm going to pop put one in the middle first if you're using threes and then you know you'll get them all evenly spaced and then do your outer do that one and that side and there you have it 
and I think they're really really good so it's, a, it's another fun way to really stretch your dies and um, I did promise I would show you how to make your tail flag or tail ends flag ends it's entirely up to you so imagine that's your strip if you're not using these dies the bottom here you cut up the middle if you want to measure it you can I'm just going to eyeball it now you cut up as high or as low as you want so if I just cut up to there and then you will cut from corner to the top of that one that you've just cut so that one and then to that one and make sure you get a really nice join there and there you have it, a really nice, perfect end, tail, flag end, whatever you want to call it. So you will get the same effect, you can see there, um, if you don't have these dies. So hopefully this tutorial will um, be used by everybody. So there you have it, really, how easy was that? So like I said, it's a good, ways, good way to stretch your dies, get more out of them. I really do like this size, I think it's a really cool one. But there, I've got all of these bows now. And um, yeah, I think they're fantastic. So that's this week's hobby base tutorial. And um, I will be back again next week with another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.